Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Above the video you will see a subscribe button. If you click it and subscribe then you will be able to keep up with my tutorials. Also make sure that at the end of this video you will leave a like. And if you really like the video then leave a favorite. Alright, enjoy the video. Hey, good evening guys. Welcome to another tutorial. And um, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to um, make your own brushes. And it's going to be fun. I really think that we're going to enjoy ourselves. As kinky as it sounds, but so 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 let's 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 start. I just said that really fast. Okay, so um, I gotta go to my smoke uh, picture folder thingy, right? Awesome. And uh, we're going to make a brush from a um, smoke sample. Now, yeah, now I already imported one in uh, Photoshop, and let me just go there. As you can see, I just dragged one from here into Photoshop. Nothing changed. Nothing done. And um, how do I make this a brush? Because I found I found myself, you know, multiple times uh, just uh, bored to constantly fucking import things from a folder and then change the color and stuff like that. It, it's kind of boring. So I just decided to make my own brushes. You know, I do I do this with uh, most of the uh, light effects that I have. Um, and uh, it, it really helps, you know, and maybe you can make your own brushes and then make them available to um, to the public. Yeah, why not? Um, so the thing to remember is that anything that is on a layer can become a brush. For example, this image can become a brush. Another thing that uh, you should remember about brushes is that, is that um, they are always black and white. Well, you can obviously select the color from uh, here, from the color palette, the swatches, and uh, then you can uh, paste it with the color. But um, mainly, mainly when you are working, when you are doing your uh, brushes, you have to work in uh, black and white. That's like a rule now. Um, but okay, let's let's start with the, this image. So uh, we're going to make this image right here a brush. And then we're going to uh, separate the smoke from the image and make it also a brush and see what's the difference, you know, uh, just uh, check it out. So um, I have my background layer here. I can just rasterize it by double clicking it. And um, now this is already a brush. I can go to edit and then define brush preset and the name doesn't matter. Smoke. All right. And I go to uh, an empty file that I have here, an empty uh, canvas, sorry, and go to my brush tool. And I'm going to click the brush that I just made. It's going to automatically appear in your uh, brush panel. And um, color black. Why not? Um, oh, it's kind of big. Let's make it smaller. There we go. And if I click, for example, in the middle, you have the image in black and white, as I told you. I can also make it a red, you know? Red smoke. Awesome. Um, maybe a bit bigger so you can see it better. Uh, and there we go. See? Awesome. You just made a brush. Now, as I said, anything that's on a layer can become a brush. But how do I separate the smoke from this image, for example? It's really simple. You uh, just import the smoke, go to the channels, click on this button here. That's uh, It's like a circle, but it's um, it's uh, snipped. I don't know. <laughs> it had like a, 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 um, an ant path. It looks like little ants in a circle. Awesome. You, you understand it. Just click on the button here. And it's going to select um, the smoke, a certain, a certain um, area of the smoke. Now I go back to the layer panel and I press Control C while having the layer zero selected, and then I press Control and V or um, Command and V, you know. And it's just going to copy only the smoke. Now I can just simply delete this uh, layer with the black background, and as you can see, we have this faint. Um, sense that the smoke is right there. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Now we can see it. And um, now we need to uh, make this effect a brush. So it's easy. You go to edit and then um, define brush preset. And now you don't have to worry about the background anymore. In fact, if I go back to uh, the smoke, I select it here. I can just uh, select the color. I don't know. Um, red. Why not? And I'm going to click here and Voila, smoke. I can make them black. And see, no black back, no black background like we would have had here with this one, as you can see. Awesome. So um, you can also make shapes um, as as brushes. For example, 
you are in a hurry and need some um, rings, so you uh, just take the, your round brush tool, voila, you do uh, one, uh, one black circle there, then you uh, go to um, your eraser tool and select the uh, round brush tool, and we're just going to erase something in the middle. So we have like a ring right now, and this is going to become a brush. Edit, define brush preset. Okay, and now you can actually just go here and put as much as many as many rings as you want. Um, I don't know why it isn't showing right. Oh, I have the eraser selected. Damn. Let me just go back. This small and check that out. I can just add the rings everywhere. And uh, I don't know. You can also add some nice um, brush presets like I go to my brush presets here and I can play with the scattering you know um, the scatter like I'm gonna make it like this I get and can play with the shape dynamics uh, the size jitter the jitter <laughs> um, the angle uh, the roundness you know how I'm gonna make the rings uh, you can play with uh, the transfer so it makes it it, it fades it more check that out that looks fantastic actually and um, I don't know let's choose some red and check that out you have like a ring spiral right now that looks actually really cool damn I sometimes amaze myself of how awesome I am nah I'm just kidding <laughs> ooh curly hair you made a ginger okay so um, brushes right I hope you understood how uh, brushes are made so basically anything that is on a layer can become a brush anything can become a brush the circle became a brush the smoke became a brush the smoke with the background became a brush and so on I can just import for example this image of a friend of mine and then go to edit define brush preset okay and whenever I uh, do it <laughs> whenever I post something here for example it's gonna make a brush out of her negative obviously right now because I have white selected or red there we go which is uh, ooh, that looks creepy sorry Tara <laughs> and yeah that's it um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial this was a really quick tutorial um, I haven't been having much time lately because I am working you know I have several projects going on I'm working on making websites and stuff like that and uh, you know it's just been really stressful actually so I'm just happy that I could actually put some uh, tutorial for you guys. All right. Um, I think I'm going to say bye now and probably get some sleep because it's... What time is it? Um, 8.40. It's not that much, but probably going to watch a movie, you know, and then go to sleep. I also have some projects from work that I have left over, so I'm probably going to work on those. So, see you guys. Um, I don't know. A weekend, maybe? Yeah. See you guys on Saturday or Friday night. Cheers.